this great book. I don't, I'm not aware of what you're talking about. I don't think he did many books where he illustrated people. What books specifically on your bookshelf yes. were racist? Absolutely. No, not specific books. He was actually a cartoonist for political ads. And so if you a simple Google search and the first few images that will pop up of Dr. Seuss, you will see where he drew very stereotypical black faced pictures of individuals, um, and of people portraying um, stereotypical views of Asian Americans and African Americans. It's common. So maybe you're leaving Seuss that a little admitted to it. Do, do, do you think you're leaving out some context? The Asian Americans you're talking about were the, the imperial Japanese government during the Second World War, the ones who took over Asia and raped and tortured hundreds of thousands of people to death. Um, so you think it's racist that he portrayed that government in an unflattering light? Is that what you're saying? Well, I would imagine that if I were to draw some of the Confederate soldiers in the same kind of light that he did, despite the fact that they were treasonous, people will still find many of those caricatures. If I took their worst features okay. and put it out there and made fun of them, they would call that racist too. So yes, okay. actually, well, I, I do. Who it doesn't is, matter but if I mean, they were I think bad it's, people. It's, it's okay to, I think it was okay in 1943 to mock the Japanese army. Um, and so maybe it's lacking no, a little Tucker, historical it's context. Not. It's not okay. It's not okay. It, who puts you in time. charge of what's okay? Okay, like, I, wait, let me just ask, is there any recognition, I know we're like debating on TV and everything, but just the part of you think like, wow, the people I'm around, maybe myself, we're scolds. We've like turned into something we used to hate when we were kids, which is people who jump up and say, you can't do that. I mean, do you ever think that? Like, what have I become well, that I'm denouncing Dr. Seuss? Well, no. I'm going to tell you what is the first thing that normally comes to my mind is respecting the person who is near me, respecting the people right. who are around me. I may have private opinions, but there are certain things that you don't say out loud. There are certain things that you stop yourself from thinking out of yeah. simple well, human agree. respect for common man. For example, a perfect one is when your president calls an entire league SOBs. Those are things that you just don't say out of your mouth, particularly when you are a person of power. And so although you may accept in your community to just say, oh, we talk about people of other races as if it's not a problem. I think a good human American to make America whoa, whoa, great again whoa, whoa. knows whoa, whoa. that so we respect so so <laughs> I, I love the, the parenthetical charge of racism. In your community, you might do that. No, actually, he's, a, he's denouncing professional athletes of a bunch of different colors. So slow down, Ladon. But you're not you're dodging my key question, which is why in the world is the left discrediting itself by going after, of all people, Dr. Seuss? Like, it's absurd. Do you recognize that at all? I think there's racism that exists. I mean, of course there is. But Dr. Seuss was not a, a major purveyor of it. So, like, why are you hassling Dr. Seuss? That's kind of the question. Do you feel silly when you do that? Absolutely not. And let me tell you what's absurd. This this librarian who brought up this whole Dr. Seuss issue had a whole two, three, four, five paragraphs before she talked about Dr. Seuss that talked about how ridiculous it was that they used taxpayer dollars to send books to overprivileged schools that didn't need them. But instead of focusing on that very important point uh -huh. that you should agree with since you're a fiscal conservative, you want to focus on the latter part of her letter that talks about Dr. Seuss. You because know why? It was because nuts. you want to trivialize. Librarians who really turn down an books. Issue. I mean, she sounds like, a, like the, the silliest Isn't person maybe who's ever lived in this country. Okay. Isn't it ridiculous that the first lady of the United States wouldn't know that a school already had all of yeah, the most common Dr. I can't Dr. believe she sent Dr. So Seuss books to a library. She should be in jail. I mean, listen to yourself, LaDawn. You're a nice person. I don't mean to be mean, but come on now. Um, thanks for joining us yeah, today. It's not mean. It's just not realistic. And unfortunately, <laughs> okay. it, we need people like you to speak up and say that, you know yeah, what? Stop sending Dr. Seuss books. It's bigoted. Yeah, okay. Good. I